Hello, my name is L.A. Woodall and welcome to this month's version of Business Forum brought to you by the Greater Fort Walton Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've got a lot of great information today. If you're involved with any charity or have a passion towards one or need to understand the process of fundraising and the impact that can have, today is the day that you want to watch this show. Thank you for being here. And if you will, allow me to start today uh, talking about the Destin Charity Wine Option Foundation. And I'm honored, literally, to have with me today uh, Dan Buckner with the uh, Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation, who is not only the chair this year, but uh, also the owner and CEO of My Vacation Haven. Uh, if, if that's not, is that correct? My yes, Vacation sir. Haven? That's correct. Uh, and what type of organization is that exactly? It's vacation rentals and property management here in the area. It's perfect for this area. I know you're doing very well with it. So thank you for taking your time away from uh, what you do every day for a living to help us with the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation. Well, I certainly uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation, as most people here in our community already know, has been a driving force uh, over the last 10 years in terms of raising monies for our local children's charities. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came to fruition and uh, where it is now and where you see it going? You know, it's amazing and truly a great story that, that started all those years ago with uh, Chan Cox and a, a few other people saying, let's have a wine auction. Uh, let's figure out how we can draw some more attention to the area, raise some money for children's charities in the area. Uh, and that started with the first year raising $80,000. Yeah. Uh, all the way up to this past year, uh, year 10, of, of giving away $2.3 million uh, to children's charities across the coast. So in 10 years, it's come a very, very long way. Excellent, $2.3 million, and uh, basically one weekend of raising funds. Um, tell us a little bit about the process of the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation in terms of that, that, that the events that lead up to it and then the actual event itself. We have several events throughout the year uh, that are scattered every two or three months actually to keep the name and the recognition in front of everybody and the reminder, hey, this is a great organization to give to. Here are re compelling reasons to get involved with the foundation. And that all leads up to the big weekend, which is the last weekend in April each year. Uh, and that consists of patron dinners on Friday night that are scattered across uh, 12 to 14 different locations. And then Saturday is the big main event in the tent where the majority of the money's raised. Now, uh, if I understand things correctly, these patron dinners, uh, they are held oftentimes in individual homes. So these are truly patrons of the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation uh, with their generosity now. Uh, is there a pairing that's involved with that? Yes, sir, uh, and, and we, couldn't, we couldn't survive without this generosity as well, so I appreciate you bringing that up. These, these folks are most generous to host dinners in their homes for oftentimes 40 and 50 people, so you can imagine the effort that goes into that. But what happens from the, uh, the pairing standpoint is we'll have chefs from all over the United States come in, as well as vintners, and then we will pair them together for the dinners to make the experience something that's just truly unforgettable for the patrons to attend. Wow, that must be a dining experience that you would uh, probably never forget, I would have to think. They are truly amazing. They are. And I understand also that at some of these patron dinners, they also have uh, auction and fundraising components to that to help the charities as well, is that correct? They do, they do. There's a, um, a smaller auction element at the dinners on Friday night, and, and last year, just at the dinners alone, we raised around three hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars across all of the dinners, uh, so we got off to a very, very good start going into Saturday for the main auction. It certainly sounds like you did. Now, on Saturday, when these patrons and those that have attended the patron dinners um, are attending the actual event itself, uh, that that's multifaceted because there's a, a wine tasting and. Well, let me ask you to describe that, if you would, please. They also, on Saturdays, they have a reserve tasting, uh, and it's broken out into several different tents. And then the main auction happens uh, on Saturday afternoon, as well as you also have a Sunday afternoon walkabout to where mm -hmm. there's 80 to 100 different tents 
of people bringing their wine for folks to taste and sample uh, and just to further get their name and brand out. That's wonderful. Um, tell us uh, a couple of things about the live auction itself because that's, I know that that atmosphere is so exciting. I've seen the video of it and it's just almost overwhelming just to watch the video, much less be there. But there's some celebrities involved and maybe a little bit about a couple of the packages that sold. It is as high energy as you can imagine. Uh, there's around 50 to 55 auction lots that take place in the live auction portion. Uh, and we have, uh, as recently as a year or two ago, we have had Emerald Lagasse uh, on stage to uh, give away our uh, first of our couple auction lots. Uh, and they range from, from trips all over the world to uh, special Vintner experiences that you can have in Napa, Sonoma, um, France, Spain, as well as just exotic vacations of any destination that you could possibly imagine. And the idea behind that is to make those experiences not only memorable, but things that you just couldn't normally go out and book on your own. Uh, there's going to be one or two or three items that are added to the trip that just wouldn't ordinarily be possible. Sounds like you guys have really thought your way through this process. I also know that even though you're young as compared to a lot of other uh, wine auction uh, that, that go on throughout the country, but uh, you're, I believe you're ranked pretty high. Can you share a little bit about that with us? We have been and very fortunate. Um, this year we were ranked fourth in Wine Spectator magazine for uh, charity wine auctions. And that's uh, truly amazing when you consider the, the folks above us with Napa, Sonoma, and Naples, Florida. Uh, who knew little old Destin, Florida here on the Emerald Coast could have such a powerful auction and raise that much money for kids. But it's a true testament to the people in this area, uh, the volunteers from the charities, how much they step up. Uh, the board, the board that, that I get to work with is, is the hardest working board I've been around, uh, as well as our staff at the Wine Foundation. It is, it is truly a complete effort when it comes to all of those and the hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that help us as well. It's, it's a massive effort to pull it off and we're blessed to have it. Well, Dan, thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing this wonderful information about the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation and the great accomplishments that y'all have provided so far. I can't say uh, how much I'm impressed with your organization and what you do. And you reach, uh, I believe it's 14 charities right yeah. here in our local community. Um, even though these dollars flow from all over the United States to be here, uh, you keep those dollars in the community. We genuinely appreciate you and thank you for being here with us today and your time. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be with you. We'll be right back with more Business Forum for you talking about the Emerald Coast Foundation and their poker run.